Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, today, I'm going to do a reading for each sign. Um, I am going to break it up, though. So I'm going to do Aries through. Well, we'll see how far I get. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm really looking at 2025 for you. Um, not really the whole year, but taking in mind that we're moving into Universal Year 9. Um, I just did a podcast or video, both really, um, that really breaks down what the Universal Year 9 is asking from the collective. So I'll link that with your uh, with your video because um, it, it has some really good information and I keep getting more information. So um, I think I'm going to make that a series and add like do another video talking about a universal year nine because things are just flooding my mind and um i love that i can just do it like a podcast i can just speak what i'm feeling uh so keep your eyes open for that we're going to call that life path nine series not life path universal year nine by the way some of you may have a life path nine or a personal nine uh year nine so keep all that in mind that whatever the universal year number is, if it matches your life path or your personal year, kind of like, I want to say double trouble, but it doesn't have to be trouble. It could be doubly good. Um, so anyways, we're going to do, we're going to start with Aries. We're going to use, I have quite a few different decks about um, these ones here. The major arcana is what I'm doing is I'm just putting your sign. So we're starting with Aries on top. And um, we are going to take a romance angel if love comes out. We, of course, will clarify with the Guild of Tarot. Um, but I am going to start with the Tarot of Dreams. So let's go ahead and officially open up this reading. Let me bring the lid down. I'm going to give it a shuffle. Everything's pre-shuffled, but I do like to shuffle with you here. So Aries. Aries. And what I'm really looking for, well, whatever whatever your guides want to bring out, I'm more than open to that. Um, but I really, like, I'm interested. Like, I, I am interested for you on um, what this universal year nine um is going to be like for you and again i'm not looking at the whole year well i'm going to leave it open i'm leaving it open to our guides whatever wants to come through i'm happy to supply it so we're going to take off the top of the deck which i don't normally do um but i did shuffle them very very well so let's go ahead and begin we're going to do three cards with clarifiers and again, if love comes out, we'll also bring out a romance angel. I may bring it out anyway. Um, also, I do want to bring out one major arcana. So I got to make some room for myself here. You know, the Virgo in me likes a nice, neat table. All right. This is good. All right. Let's begin. Aries. We have... The Three of Pentacles. This is great energy in a Universal Year 9 because Universal Year 9 is a very creative energy. And this is also about your creativity. This is also about your individuality. Um, you know, what you do in the world. This is where other people are really admiring what you do. But a lot of times you don't feel it in this energy. And a lot of times the reason why you don't feel it is because you're preoccupied with it. You know, it's something that really draws your attention. Uh, beautiful creative energy, though. We have mm, five of swords. All right, so there's some toxicity somewhere. You know, whether that be someone else, your own thought system. Um, fives always speak of a change. So... Whatever is toxic doesn't want to stay. And it makes it makes sense because this year 
will be like the final push. You know, this is like the grand finale of the last nine years. So truly, whatever just is not working in your life or whoever is playing games or what have you, this is a year where I feel like you, like we're just not going to take the bullshit anymore. You know what I mean? We're not taking it anymore. But this is due to your reflection. Why do I have the magician as the first card? I know why. I put the wrong... Well, I kind of feel like... What is going on? All right. There's Aries. The Emperor. Um, but it is interesting because I was going to take one from here. And just the way I did it, the magician showed up. So, your ability to manifest... Your ability to create, to make things come true. And that may be why that Five of Swords is here again. It may just be something you need to look at. Some, you know, it doesn't have to be major. It could just be some simple little change. It does feel like it's interfering, like, in your creative house. It may be you not trusting, like, in your abilities. However... I feel like it's saying that you have these true abilities. By the way, this is also a year where a lot of healers in a lot of different uh, formats, modalities, are going to be called into action. So you may feel pulled to something. And I would suggest following it because it's universal energy. And I kind of love that we open up the reading with your creativity your individuality being admired because of it even if you're not admiring yourself other people are and then mm, look at this the two of swords so there's something you don't want to face but you need to you know two swords i'm wearing a blindfold um usually there is a decision to be made but in the two swords, it's just something I'm I'm having a hard time facing. All right, this is a good time for the clarifiers. Let's give them a shuffle. Uh, and then they will be officially introduced into the readings. All right, but I want to look here. So let's take one on each one. Look at this, 33. Some of you uh, may have a master number, 33. 33 follows me around all the time. I see it all the time. It comes up in my readings all the time. And it often rem reminds me of like a master. You don't have to have a master number, 33. But a master number, 33, talks about really pure love. This is someone who has um, been here many lifetimes. And I love that the Empress is representing your creative house because she is the most creative energy. You know, she's loving. She's nurturing. She's powerful. She's strong. She's gentle as a lamb. But don't mess with her, right? Because she's got that lion in her. Like, I've been there. I've done that. Um, but there is something about your creative house. And maybe this is the time. Remember the Empress is someone who, as we all do, receive epiphanies, ideas, signs. But this is someone who has really learned to listen to them. You know, it's like, I don't second guess a sign coming my way. Or let's say there's something you want to create, but... It feels to me like there's something that you're not trusting within yourself. Um, but the Empress would say that you have the ability. So, let's look. Look at that. The Two Swords over the Five of Swords. And then the Queen of Wands over the Two of Swords. So, the Queen of Wands would certainly be you. Um, and other Aries. Um, Sagittarius or Leo. But I do feel like it's you, to be honest. 
Um, this is a queen of passion. This is a queen that really moves according to what stirs her soul. Um, you know, it's interesting. There's a little flame right there. And, you know, she is not a fear-based energy. So all these swords, I feel like I need to take another one. We have the Six of Cups. All right. I wonder if there's someone else involved here. Like someone else not appreciating you for truly who you are. Or maybe you feel that way. You know, Six of Cups talks about really happy memories. Um, can talk about childhood memories. You know, if it's talking about a person, then when I think of this person, it would bring a smile to my face. So I find it interesting that it's coming over all these swords because normally it's, um, it's a loving, happy, go lucky type energy. Let's go right next to it though. The chariot. Uh, first of all, card of cancer. Don't forget, you do have the magician. And the beautiful energy you have through the empress and the ability to create. But it's really about being true to you, like your style. You know, let's say you get this random epiphany and you're like, oh, would, that, would that work? I would say take a step into it because I feel like anything you do in your creative house feels like it's going to be amplified. I have a feeling this over here may be talking about a person. Now, first and foremost, it could be talking about you having self-doubt. Um, and it can talk about something that, you know, like a gift that you have. And you probably have had it your whole lifetime. Um, but maybe now is the time to, like, bring it about. Chariot really represents unlimited potential. But it is the balance of the feminine and the masculine, the light and the dark. That's what allows the chariot and your intentions are really what tells the chariot where to go. And because it's coming over an energy of, let's just say, fear or something um, fearing to face, why? Because it feels like. If I face it, that means that there is this change. Am I ready for this change? Um, you know, it's like the universe is saying yes. I'm going to take one more. Mm, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Wow. So the Knight of Pentacles is... You know, I feel your guardian angel. I feel it's a spirit guide who is stepping forward to help you um, in different areas. Like, I feel like, well, I don't feel like, I know that we have a lot of spirit guides. Um, spirit guides have lived on this earth before, by the way. Angels have not. So spirit guides have been born of woman, um, but your angels have not. And they're all your spiritual team. Um, but your spirit guides really are here to help guide you. They are like your GPS. So why am I saying all that? So the Knight of Pentacles, um, its first message is patience. But it speaks about the right time. Knight of Pentacles is a beautiful energy of the potential of truly expanding your world, your life. But again, I come at the right time, and I know that it's talking about a change. When some type of when you face whatever this is, then it feels like the right timing. I'm just going to take one more. Look at that, the Ten of Swords. Okay, all right. So I feel like you've been in a repeat pattern with something. And um, I feel like you have to face it. Um, 
Because I feel like if I don't face it, then I'll be damned. Sword after sword just keeps coming at me. You know, it's like where you feel like you have this dark cloud over you. But the Ten of Swords, this person's really in, in a submissive state. So I'm kind of taking these swords. I expect them. And I'll be damned, they shall. The magician would say, turn that around. Turn that around. What is it, you, like, how do you want to see your life moving forward? So I do feel like there may be somebody here who um, just isn't playing along. Um, but I also feel like this is saying, don't let anything come between you and your, well, I want to say creativity, but when I say that, I understand that's a wide, a wide area. You know what I mean? Um, because for some creativity may mean like working with my hands. Um, I feel like it's whatever you're called to, but it does feel like you have a gift and it feels, you know, and that's interesting because universal year nine is a year for those who have spiritual gifts, but really you're not doing anything with them. Um, I feel like you're going to be called to consider because it will be your choice to consider um bringing them into your life like using them and some of this i feel like that's what it's talking about like maybe a little bit of a lack of trust within what i feel that you can not only create um but i feel like the world will like appreciate it you know i feel like your guardian angel is recognizing that there's been a repeat pattern and this pattern has held you back maybe for the last nine years so hopefully this is you breaking free if it has anything to do with love then it is clearly showing a repeat pattern so when i say repeat pattern i feel that if someone that I keep having, I keep taking back, let's say, if I expect things to be different, this is telling you that it won't be. Because it goes from the Five of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So that element is what you need to face. And when you do face it, I feel free. Doesn't mean that, of course, you know, if it's talking about love, like it sucks, right? Like, uh, like I love this person, but they're not giving me what I need. Well, there's your answer. Um, because that doesn't mean that there's not someone out there waiting, so to speak. Like in a spiritual realm. You, my friend, have an unlimited potential. You have an opportunity to truly create the type of world you want to see for yourself and around you. But simply, the truth will set you free. Taking off that blindfold. You know, it's almost like demanding and knowing that i'm worth more than this right i'm worth more than your than the games that someone may play with you and i'm not even saying that you have to say though i kind of do feel that like you know well you don't have to close the door forever but what i would say is if this is talking about other people or someone else then i would say well i am closing the door for right now because i feel like the more you focus in your creative house i feel the happier you're going to be dang i want to take one more over that ten of swords king of swords 
could be someone who's got really bad communication. Could be someone who has a problem with the truth, speaking the truth. Hmm. I'm not feeling this King of Swords in a good way. And I'm not even thinking about the sign. I'm just thinking about the energy. So, um, plus the sword is up. So I feel aggressive type energy. It's almost like I'm just waiting to put that other sword in your back. I got lots of them. But let's not forget. Knight of Pentacles is saying that I'm coming, that I bring this pentacle into your life at the right time. And this pentacle is truly meant to enhance your world, and it will. You know, think of it as like a seed coming in, but that seed has roots. And if you plant that seed, nurture that seed like the empress would, then that seed will only blossom and blossom and throw off more seeds, new seeds. So, you know, this may just be the beginning of something, but it is not the end. It feels like avenues and ideas and like that part of you is just flowing freely. The rest, well, I feel like you know what you know. All right, we're gonna pick these up. I can already tell these are going to be long. All right. We are going to go to Taurus. The Hierophant. And... Let's get you a major arcana, Taurus. You know, your major arcana, I feel like, will be like the major energy that you'll have to work with. Well, not that you have to work with, that you will be able to work with. The High Priestess. That's your intuition. That. My friend, is your GPS for this lifetime. Okay. The wheel. The wheel speaks of destiny. This could talk about a destiny time. We have the Four of Cups. Interesting. Um, Four of Cups talks about discontentment and boredom in one's life. The meaning of the card is learning to use your spiritual discernment as it relates to any decisions you make in your life. That's probably why the High Priestess is also here for you. You know, in the Four of Cups, this person is receiving a cup. Um, and I don't know how this cup can't help because they're not happy right now. You know, this person's like looking back at the wheel, almost like asking the wheel, when are you going to spin? When is it my destined time? We have the Six of Pentacles, that fine art of give and take. First of all, Six of Pentacles to me is a very empathetic and compassionate energy. It can be an energy where... Um, some of us could have a tendency to give and not receive, right? And we need to learn how to be open to both. Like, I swear, I feel more people, at least here in, you know, part of my soul tribe, I feel like many of you are givers. But sometimes I don't, I don't, well, how do I say this? Like, do you also allow yourself, or do you know that you should also be receiving, right? It should be an equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is about 
finding balance. It is a six. Could also speak of relationships. <clears throat> but again, you know, right now it has you in the energy of not being so happy with your life, you know, maybe just in your, just maybe just the emotional part of it. I swear she's looking at that wheel like when is the wheel going to turn? When is it going to be my turn? But she is receiving a cup. And she does need to trust her spiritual discernment, her intuition, her spiritual team. There may be an, a lesson that some of you have learned. Um, and it just doesn't it doesn't have to just be love, though. Again, I feel like we are talking about an emotional issue. Um, but that can be, you know, love of a child, you know, where I give. Um, but it doesn't seem to produce any results for them. So I got to know who I'm giving to. Like, I want to give a hand up, not just a hand out. And also, I feel like something you're learning is that you do deserve to receive. And if you're not receiving, you have to take that as a sign. You know, like people will give us their truth. We just refuse to see it sometimes. All right. Bring in the Gilded Tarot. We have the Page of Pentacles with the wheel. So that makes me feel like you've been learning. You've been on this path of knowledge, gaining wisdom. Um, it almost makes me feel like, you know, in your money, I'm not going to say that you feel like everything is fine, but I do feel like you're probably doing like better in that area than in your emotional area right now. But I do feel like you've been on this, this, maybe it's been the last nine years where there's really a lot that you have learned um, about yourself, but also like how the world works. Because uh, I feel like whatever I learn in the Page of Pentacles energy, it's so I can use it in this physical world. Can also represent a younger sign, you know, potentially Earth, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be your younger self. Well, let's keep going. We have, well, hello, Six of Wands, victory and success. Coming over an energy of discontentment and boredom. Now, that is a change of energy. So, what changes it? First of all, we know the wheel must move. We know that wheel is offering you a cup. And it is meant for emotional fulfillment. We do know that from what you've been learning, let's just say the last nine years, maybe the last six years, um, you can now take that wisdom and create from it, really do whatever you want. In the Six of Wands, other people are looking up to you, but it's because of action steps that you've taken. You know, it's like, it puts you in the leadership role, so to speak. We have the Strength card, Cardaleo, coming over the Six of Pentacles. Um, strength card is really, you know, it's a courageous energy because it's the willingness. And, and by the way, she's looking right back at the, the woman in the four of cups. So that tells me there's some type of an inner struggle, um, but nothing that you cannot overcome. The strength card is really about the balance of the light and dark within us and understanding that we need both. Right. But also learning like how to control that. You know, what I mean by that is like, let's say I'm in a situation where I tend to yell a lot. 
But now I'm realizing that, okay, all I do is scream. <laughs> and I'm not saying that's you. Um, but it does feel like in the strength card, it's really learning how to control myself. Eight is also about a new beginning. And in the four cups, again, she's being offered a cup. It's coming right off the wheels of energy. So, let's take a few more. Mm, tower. Okay. And look at this, the magician. One door closes, a new door opens. You know, the tower, to me, in, in your reading right now, it feels like something came to an end. And... Maybe you didn't ask for it to come to an end, but it came to an end nonetheless. Um, now, because it's coming over the wheel, I have to tell you, I feel like whatever it is, it's probably meant to come to an end now. You know, like it ran its course. Now, our humanness tends to pull energy back when... Our spirituality is saying, this court, this is over. This is done, right? It's time for something new. And the power you have to manifest. Five of Cups. You're missing someone. You're missing someone. Interesting because Five of Cups really talks about where one's focus is at. And right now it's mirroring the tower. So that tower feels like it still has an effect on you. Um, and maybe you were trying to manifest someone back in your life. And, you know, is that a good thing? Eh, I don't know yet. I, I, I'm not really feeling that. Um, one of the main reasons why is because the Five of Cups, it asks you to ask yourself, like, what am I focusing on? And in the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups, I'm really focusing on more of what I have lost. You know, and it is a need to find, like, emotional clarity. But there are two cups behind this person, which which does represent a soulmate. But is it this... That was, well, let's follow that up. The hangman. Slow down, you move too fast. And three of pentacles. Okay, Taurus, I kind of get a feeling that someone that you were involved with, that you probably loved. Um, and, you know, I have to say, Again, with the universal year nine, what is not working, it will be so illuminated that I feel like it doesn't matter if I'm wearing a blindfold. It's still going to be that illuminated. But it will be up to me, so to speak. Like the tower, a lot of times, is not up to you. It's something that happens usually outside your control. Um, but then the hangman's under it. So it's almost like the hangman saying no. Don't look this way. Look, look towards the future. Why? Well, because I feel like who's ever coming, let's just say, in the future is, first of all, a soulmate. And second of all, I feel like the soul recognition will be very quick. And... This is about celeb someone celebrating you for exactly who you are. And you, them. But I just get a feeling you don't know this yet. I'm going to take one more. We have the King of Pentacles. Could be you. I 
I just want to follow that king. Look at that. There's a soulmate. There's that soulmate. So, Horace. Uh, first of all, the wheel is moving, right? Destiny is opening up its door to you. And it's asking you to be honest with yourself. Ask, it's asking you to ask yourself, what, where has my focus been? And if it's been on love that has not worked out, am I still, you know, is my energy still there? Or because the hangman makes me feel like, don't go back. You know, it's almost like stopping you from going back. But it, but it feels like because it's over. And that's why I felt in the Five of Cups that it was more about what's yet to come versus where I've been. Page of Pentacles, you learned. And now I feel like you got to put what you learned into action. Because there is a soulmate. All right. Well, since we got soulmates, we're going to bring in the romance angels. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. You know what I always find interesting? And listen, I've been there myself many times where, you know, you fall for someone and maybe things go well in the beginning. Something definitely took like a right or a left turn. Well, the other was taking the opposite turn. Um, you're not receiving the fulfillment you truly deserve. And I feel like partly because you are a compassionate soul. And it, it, it kind of feels like I was dealing with a karmic. So, and, and the reason why I say that is because we have the page of uh, pentacles here too. So I'm learning in that energy. But what I'm learning is from the tower, the hangman, but also how to get this wheel to move again. This is want to remind you, you have victory and success, but it's you. It's you creating it. It's really you working hand in hand with divine. So I feel like the best thing I can say to you here is don't look back. Look forward. And put positive intentions out there if you're, if you're looking for love. And I know some of you, there's someone of the past who I don't feel like you're easily going to say, oh, well, and it ran its course. However, and I have to say, because true love and the soulmates is also touching the five of cups. And that five of cups is asking for change. And when this person says, I'm no longer going to focus on the things I have lost, the cups that have been knocked over, I'm just going to learn what I can learn and move on. And that's why I feel some of you may have dealt with like a karmic type love. And you may have learned some very difficult lessons. And now it feels like good karma. Because not only is the five saying when you make this change, there is the potential of soulmates on this path for you. Remember, we opened up with your destiny. And then the change, you make that change and boom, out comes the two of cups. Exactly what's behind that person. And not just that. But that this is true love, a romance of a lifetime. Okay, I shall take that. All right. Um, 
you know, the bottom line here is not just about destiny, but that's, it's moving. Um, it's also about what you've learned, what you've overcome, and being proud of that. <clears throat> And not judging yourself and like, oh, man, I gave so much of my energy away, blah, blah, blah. There's still something you learned. Because ultimately, it's you who's coming to the energy of victory and success. That tells me this discontentment and boredom is going to change. But you've got to allow it at the same time. Because, again, the person in the Four of Cups is receiving a cup. What do I do? What do I do? I know what you should do. But I kind of got to leave that up to you. Okay. Um... I'm going to switch decks. I'm actually going to bring these back in. And I'm going to go to the Psychic Tarot. Okay. Let's give them a shuffle real quick. So we're moving into... Gemini. Um, I have a Gemini moon. Interesting. We'll see. You know, I'm taking both, and I'll tell you why I'm taking both. Um, judgment was flipped around, and judgment is your spiritual team. Judgment is about calling you to the present moment because there's about to be a rebirth. So something new that's opening up for you. Um, it should be a very good thing, but this is also... You know, knowing that you're going to be guided. And I feel like that should also bring you a sense of comfort. But also the high priestess came out again. So your intuition. And if you just look at the image. How your spiritual team is blowing the trumpet right at your intuition. So it's going to be hard to deny. But I don't know why you'd want to. So some type of a rebirth. Let's see. Well, hello, universe, the next chapter. Um, and in the universe's energy, which is very fitting in this reading, in this reading, because again, we're ending the nine year cycle. Um, this is an energy where I feel someone is also spiritual. This is someone I feel like who has learned to walk hand in hand with their spiritual team. And what I mean by that is they know that they're being guided. They know they have this spiritual help. And this is someone who pays attention. This is the last card in the tarot. Often feels the closest energy to God. It's also 21, so joy. All right. Hmm, look at this. Patience. Two major arcanas back to back, by the way. Um, this is temperance. Card of Sagittarius. But this, you know, Temperance's first message is patience. That means something's coming about. We know that because just what judgment is saying, the same thing. Trust your intuition. And this is about trusting in divine timing. Now, because it's following the world, I feel like it must be divine timing. Hmm. Conflict and defeats. Also five. 
now change so hopefully like the period you know you could have gone through this period of time where it's like you know one step forward two steps back i know it i know the energy um and that could be changing for you but it is you again who's making that effort you know it's you who is you know i feel like when you see five it's just asking you to stop look around what's working in my life what's not working in my life i feel like whatever obstacles were put in your way i do feel like you overcame them interesting there's a flame at the bottom of the steps and it's almost like everything it took me to get to that flame that flame to me it can certainly represent a person um but it's passion you know it is it could be a spark of new ideas you know the good news is it feels like like the hard times coming to the ne to an end um and i do feel like some of these obstacles i do feel like you have You've learned how to overcome and maybe you're paying attention more and more to your intuition to your spiritual team you know flags we send you flags all right let's give this a couple shuffles three of wands optimism Present moment energy, just what judgment is asking for. You know, I don't need to project myself too far out in the future. This is about what's happening right now. I don't know why I cut them, but I did. All right, Ten of Pentacles over the world. It's called the universe here. The devil, Cardi Capricorn. Um, over patience, temperance, justice, Carta Libra. Holy major arcanas, first of all. One, two, three, four. I have six cards, four of them are major arcanas. You know. This feels very clear to me because justice is mirroring the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords coming over the world. There's no way, because I feel like when the world shows up, it means you're ready for this next chapter. And there's no way <clears throat> that the next chapter would want you to bring the same energy forward. So it does tell you, um, Again, this is the energy of just dagger after dagger in my back. But it is also the energy of becoming submissive to it. Yet, I feel like something shook you up. Because justice feels like, okay, you're cutting those ties. And it's interesting with the devil right next to it. Um, the devil can speak of temptations. And this has definitely been something that I was tempted to over and over again, but maybe all it did was kept putting new obstacles or even old obstacles back in my way again. So I feel like you're using that sort of justice and that could represent cutting a ties with someone. Okay. It is about rebalancing your own life, like feeling balanced within your life but i do feel like there had been some energy that at least at one time i feel kept tempting you to it but this feels to me like no wonder the world showed because with justice showing coming over the most difficult energy on the table you know um conflict and defeat obstacles and challenges uh you're using that sword which eliminates the Ten of Swords, which eliminates the Temptations. 
Five of Swords. Well, the good news is we've gone from the Ten of Swords down to the Five of Swords. The Sun, the Illuminator. I spoke about that in the reading um, that I did for the Universal Year 9. Um, so the Sun is your Illuminator. It illuminates everything. The good. The bad. And the ugly. But it's really to illuminate. It illuminates these things for you. So that you can then make a true decision. You know, when the sun comes out, I feel like there's no way we can't live within our own truth. Because it's very clear. Doesn't mean everything is working out in my life. It just means that the truth is being seen. And the sun is really about a brand new day. You know, it's playful type energy. So, you know, I kind of love this because it feels like you're moving from difficult energy more. But it is your sword that cut those ties that is now giving you. And I love the justice here because there's that balance. There's that balance. And if I cut someone out of my life, because we're going to the Ten of Swords, down to the Five of Swords, you know, real life, it could still, like, you know, doesn't mean that I immediately stop thinking about it, but I feel like this is your power now. Like, now you have power to make decisions based on, first of all, your balanced energy now, and then temperance saying, trust in divine timing. Judgment saying, I need you in the present moment. There's about to be a rebirth. The sun lets you know this is nothing you need to fear. You know, no shadows can hide when the sun is out. It's also playful energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Excuse me. Eight of Pentacles. Um, great energy if you're starting something new. Especially with the sun right there. You know, it almost feels like part of this is saying where other people may not have believed in like the things that you wanted to do in the world. But so be that. You know, like so be it. You don't need them to believe. You just need to believe. Because divine believes in you. So the Eight of Pentacles is, the message is really the willingness to go, to step into something as the apprentice. But knowing that if you put your focus on it, that it will only grow, and it will grow to true success. But it does take your focus. But in the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like, it's got my focus. It's something that's piqued my interest. It's something maybe you've always wanted to do. And this just may be the right time. Eight, a new beginning. The sun, we're going to illuminate it for you. Divine timing. This feels like divine timing. Let's take one more. We have the full, a new beginning. Taking a leap of faith on oneself. The sun is right there. You definitely use that sword. Or if you have it, then it may be asking you to. But it's also showing you, um, again, it feels like the energy of, I, if I expect change from the things that weren't so great in my life, Probably in the last cycle, I don't feel like I'm going to get it. Get it. Now, if it's a related to a person, sometimes it's because with the energies on the board, some people are just comfortable living in lower vibrational energy. But as we evolve, and it does feel like you're evolving because, again, judgment is like, is like blowing that trumpet right to your intuition. So it would be very hard to miss 
the signs. Um, but it, again, it is calling you to the present moment. Well, this is you answering judgment as the full. So the willingness to allow a new beginning. And, you know, the fool is not looking at, like, what's the final destination? The fool's like, I'm ready for this adventure. I'm ready. Like, put me in, coach. I'm ready. And then so it happens. Um, just going to take one more. Look at that. Five of cups again. So let's follow that. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like you've had some lessons in love. Um, you know, it feels a little bit like... I forget who's reading. Or even though this is what only the third. Um, but again, it just feels like that energy of... First of all loss yet I feel like what you lost it feels like it needed to be like I almost feel like if you don't use that sword it's going to be very hard for things to move forward because remember you have free will and these thighs really are your free will it's going to be up to you whether you make this change or not. So again, the five of cups, but now coming out with the page of pentacles, learning, growing. And yes, not everyone can love us the way that we deserve to be loved because I do feel the energy of someone just being very comfortable in their lower vibrational energy. And I don't feel like there's a lot you can do about that. It's like you've outgrown each other. Um, but you have evolved and I feel like saying, you know, don't allow lower vibrational energy to tempt you back because this is about new growth. You know, when temperance shows up in a reading, divine is involved in your life in all areas. But this is about a rebirth, my friends. I'm going to take one more six of pentacles. There's that fine already give and take again. And I feel like that is part of what you've been learning. You know, I feel like some of the obstacles that you've overcome, give yourself credit, like be proud of that. Um, And it does feel like, you know, an unbalanced energy within give and take. Again, I probably gave and gave. Sometimes some people are just incapable of giving real love. You know, could be someone who's a narcissist, me, 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 me. Could be someone who was just raised without a lot of love in their life. Um, but you know, I don't want to make a lot of excuses for them because I feel like the bottom line is I don't feel like I'm going to change this person. I feel like they're just comfortable with who they are. And I myself am changing. I'm evolving. Your spiritual team knows that. And now I feel like it's just trusting in, you know, first of all, I do feel like it's letting go. But then trusting in divine for what's next. The full doesn't carry the past with them, just the wisdom of it, right? The fool is like free and clear, light as a feather. Why? Because I don't let the weight of the world hold me down. Great energy for creating something new. I mean, really good energy for that. And I feel like we're getting a mix in every reading. A little bit of love, a little bit of work, creativity. But I do feel like one of the lessons that you've been learning is who to give your energy to and who not to give it to. 
who deserves your energy and maybe who just doesn't. And I'm not judging anyone here because, again, if someone is comfortable living in a lower vibrational energy, who am I to tell them that they shouldn't? That may be the path that they chose. You know what I mean? But it doesn't mean I got to connect with them. You know, it could be fun. But then that fun will dry up. feel like taking a romance angel okay keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations keep an open mind so first of all i love that it has the word soulmate on here and again we have that five of cups but I feel like it's really important that lessons were learned so that I could really be in the fool's energy. And honestly, I feel like this is the exact card that should have came out, keeping your mind open, especially with the universe, temperance, divine timing. I mean, you have such beautiful energy here. But you also have some hardship here. But nothing that you can't overcome. I know that. I feel it. And, you know, even if I wanted someone back here, there's no change. Over here, oh, there's new change. For sure. And even if I question, like, how do I know if I allow myself to love again? That it, my heart just won't get broken again. Well, the Eight of Pentacles answers that for you. If both people are willing to focus upon this love, then this love will flourish. If only one, which I feel is the past, is willing to focus, then that love will die. You know, but sometimes we don't allow it to die. Then... I just feel like this is just telling you there's a soulmate that's coming in. First, a very important lesson to learn. But this is for your own soul growth. And then really the world, again, I feel is very spiritual energy. So if you are in tune with your spirituality, then you know that sometimes, you know, we can get stuck in situations, relationships that just really aren't helping us to grow in any way. And it, it has to be up to us. You know, even if someone else gave me a tower, doesn't mean that I, you know, that I still don't want them back. But if I could, if I could be living in my real truth, Chances are, there's no way I'd want them back. And that's why the sword of justice is really, to me, what sets you free. So, keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type. That may be a good thing. This reminds me of my daughter. I tell my daughter that all the time. Like, look for something different. You know, because she's had a lot of, you know, relationships that were good. And I mean, we all have. But she tends to go after like the same sign every single time. And every single time she gets the same results. So just keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. But it really is telling you that there is a soulmate that exists. And it's in this next chapter because everything that follows the chapter is part of it. And that's why these fives and the fool is saying, do you really want to carry the weight of what has gone wrong? You know, just the weight of the hard experiences or you just want to extract the wisdom and allow yourself to take a chance on you. I feel like that's really what it means. When you take a chance on you, 
because divine is here and divine timing, then you really don't have to worry about like, okay, well, when is the soulmate coming in? It's so close to the full, though. I mean, very close to the full. It was right next to it. So to me, that symbolizes that it wouldn't be far off. This is why you got to clear past energy. This is why the energy of the full is so important. Okay, I'm going to let that be. Um, of course, these readings are turning out much longer than what I planned, but I got to learn to stop planning and just let it be. All right. Cancer. All right, let's we'll start with your major arcana cancer. The Empress, beautiful. So, you know, and that's so fitting for you. Um, because I do feel like the Empress is really Cancer's natural energy. Again, very loving, nurturing. Um, but, you know, through your journeys, through your different experiences, um, there will come a day where, you know, putting the past behind you won't be hard. You know, the Empress, again, to me, it feels like um, you're going to be receiving some important signs to follow. So let's go ahead and start. Rejoice in celebration. There's that 33 again. Um, that's the energy of joy. You know, it means there's going to be something to celebrate. We have shadow. This is the moon. Um, Carter Pisces roller, your roller. You know, I love this image because I love how this person, through their light self, is looking at their shadow self. And I feel it's real important that we all do this, right? We know our shadow self. You know, it's like we know our shadow self. We know our light self and we know both are important, but it's finding that true balance. Now, the moon can certainly represent uncertainties, but it can also be very dreamy energy. It feels like something you're ready for. By the way, eight plus one, a nine. Universal year nine is really is what sparked uh, this re the, the whole readings. Hmm, tower. Interesting. Tower mirroring the three of cups. Excuse me one second. I'm just going to grab a drink. Hopefully I don't knock that off. I better put it over here. I'll knock. I'll knock it over all over my cards and I'd be devastated. All right. Give me a shuffle. I want to see where my time is at. Okay, a little over an hour.
Six of Wands, ever rejoice in celebration. The High Priestess, ever shadow, which is the moon. The Strength card, ever the tower. I feel like I'm going to keep going now. The Knight of Wands, hello, passion, rushing in. The world, the next chapter. So that kind of takes the power away from the tower. And it's showing you having the ability to overcome whatever the tower may have been in your life. You know, where it's not having, where it's not stopping you from moving forward any longer. Because the world means that you're ready again for this next chapter. And this is something that should really bring you joy. But it does feel like there is something you probably did have to overcome. You know, that's, I think that's just life. Um, but this really is talking about what's, what is about to be more than anything I feel. I feel like the strength card over the tower is a simple little message of your ability to overcome these towers and really learn from them and grow from them instead of looking at them like why the hell do they keep showing up in my life if they keep showing up there is a reason um you know that's when you really need to go within and figure out what that reason is but i feel like you do or you did because this feels like everything is coming in now towards the world the next chapter joy a reason to celebrate victory and success this is really where you are the leader. You know, again, other people looking up to you. And they're looking up to you, again, because of action steps you've taken. Like, how bold you were. You know, there's something about the action steps that you've you've taken. Where I feel like others will be like, look at cancer. Like, I want to be just like cancer. Interesting, because I feel like there's a microphone there. It's not a microphone. But when I look down, it looked like my old microphone. <laughs> you know, that big red microphone I used to use? Um, so some of you, you know, I don't know. I could see you doing, like, podcast, um, using your voice in different ways. Some of you could be natural healers especially with the empress here and um just like i feel many of us who had that healing title are going to be called into action this year well definitely you too um but that's just to help other people you know it's to help i feel like those who are who are not spiritually awoken need us need us who are and um, this could be like a platform that you have where truly, and I put this in the video also where I felt like, <clears throat> like healers, I felt like people are just going to naturally seek you out. So I feel like after a period of time of maybe what felt like restriction, you know, in your money, your, your creative house or your finances, um, all the same thing. I feel like things are moving now. Things are flowing. And I love the Knight of Pentacles because or the Knight of Wands coming into your reading. It's talking about something that's passionate. Um, it's talking about something that may move quickly, but it's moving right to your intuition. So this is something you should feel like within um you know if it's right or it's not right if it's if it's lower vibrational energy or if it's higher vibrational energy i feel like you'll know immediately um but it does feel like an opportunity to begin anew and when i say new it, it can be doing what you do but it being amplified There's that King of Swords again. Death card. 
Okay, I gotta follow that. Eight of Wands. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, I gotta clean my house. I have too much dust. Anyway. So, you know, I hate to say bye-bye, King of Swords, but I kind of feel like this is saying bye-bye, King of Swords. Um, because the Death card is asking for this door to be closed. But remember, when the Death card asks you to close one door, another door always opens. And it literally, the Death card, the world. Closing a chapter, the new chapter. So, something's just making, well, it's, it's the energy on the board. Making me feel like this King of Swords um, could be someone. It doesn't even have to be love. But it does feel like, you know, they're not moving forward with you. But in a way, I feel like there's no place for them in your life. Um, why? Because I feel like you're on to bigger, better things. And I'm not really putting them down when I say that, but I do feel like you are, you're just on to bigger and better things. Like the universe, I feel, is recognizing like all the work that you've put in, the towers that you've overcome, you know, and I feel like there's a special reward just for that alone. The Empress representing that you're not allowing yourself to shut down your heart. And that can be hard sometimes. But again, the Empress has learned to continue to be loving and nurturing. But she, but she's no one's fool. So I don't feel the tower could touch her. Or let me put it a different way. If there was this type of energy that the tower carries heading towards the Empress, she would know it immediately. Her intuition would pick it up. You come as a shadow? No, thank you. You come in the light? Welcome in. And it also feels like, you know, whatever door needs closed, as soon as you close that door, it feels like everything starts moving. You know, the Eight of Wands is very fast-moving energy. And you also have the Knight of Wands, which is fast-moving energy. And they're both wands. So, fire. Fire. Um, but I also feel like this is like the Law of Attraction. What I think about, I bring about. But now you are thinking in higher vibrational energy. Or your intentions are of higher vibrational energy. And therefore, the universe is going to match that. And I feel like, and then it goes full circle. That's why this is saying, this is energy that you can celebrate. This is energy that's meant to be joyful. Um, really, it truly is. It's meant to be joyful. It's also meant to be passionate. You know, passion for what you do. And I feel like if someone... Let's just say this King of Swords is someone, you know, of your present or of your past. I feel like if they're not showing you the passion that you need and desire, then I feel like you are closing the door. Let's just take one on him. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to follow that up with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Action. Again, kind of love seeing the Knight of Pentacles now. Um, though I still don't feel like this is saying that this King of Swords stays. I feel like what it's talking about is when you close the door. Because I, I feel like this King of Swords is part of the tower. And I'm not again, I'm not thinking about their sign. I, I feel like it's more again in communication, 
you know, or someone who tells a lot of little white lies to the point where you just can't turn, you know, they may not be big major lies, but even these little white lies that you keep telling me makes it hard for me to trust at all. But the Knight of Pentacles, again, remember the Knight of Pentacles, patience, but also I come at the right time. So the energy of the death card, right, which is about a rebirth. That's what death card means is transformation. Um, but you're ready for this transformation and probably even asking for it. And the universe is delivering it. So this night is a very good omen in your reading. It means something coming into your physical world that really can, well, again, just look at the very first card. Bring joy to your heart. And I do feel like, like what you do in the world or maybe even what you're thinking of doing in the world. Um, I do feel and see like true success for you. So there could be an opportunity that comes to you out of the blue. But yet it, it's not like. Like I don't feel like I'm out putting resumes out or that type of thing. It just feels like something. You know, maybe it's something that piques your interest. Because remember, the Empress always receiving epiphanies. And she puts them to use. She knows the right time. You know, think about the Empress as the mother figure. She carries a child. She, well, think about that. She wants to carry him for nine months. Nine again. Nine, right in the middle of the reading. So it's like you are definitely clearing up an old chapter. But it is so this new chapter can begin. That's what the world signifies. And, you know, I would just say, Cancer, this feels like the type of reading where you probably already know what or who or maybe both. You need to think about, because this is the year that we are finally saying goodbye to those things and those people who are not helping us on our spiritual journey. Or they themselves are not interested in taking a spiritual journey. It's very hard if you... You know, you really trust within your spirituality, you trust within your spiritual team to be with someone who's completely the opposite. Now, to each their own, but I kind of feel what this is saying is that you're headed to bigger, better things. Like you've looked at that shadow self, you know it, you can give it a name, you are trusting in your intuition. Uh, so that means also knowing when to close doors, right? When to allow this transformation to have. And again, I feel like you've overcome these towers um, or you're in, you are overcoming them. Um, but you definitely have the ability. Just know that. And I feel like as soon as it's almost like as soon as you say to the universe, I'm ready. The universe is like, well, that's all we've been waiting for. If you're ready, we're ready. Okay. I think it's impossible for me to do short readings. <laughs> I just feel like it's impossible. Um, yeah, at the same time, I really don't put like a limit on them. They're, they're going to be whatever they want to be. And I've just learned to accept that. Matter of fact, I prefer it that way. All right. Okay, what do I have? Actually, let's bring them all back in. 
everything is turned around. The lovers. By the way, we're moving into Leo. You got two. All right, high priestess again. And hello, Will. Destiny. Hello, love begins. This is the Ace of Cups. But in this deck, it says love begins. That makes the wheel feel even more intriguing. You know, this person, I always notice um, they're blindfolded, yet they're still spinning that wheel, and it's like a sense of blind faith, right? And I love that your intuition is right beside that. Love begins. <laughs> Discontentment and boredom. Interesting, because this person has their back to that ace, yet they are the person who's receiving this cup. Like having my back to the world. We have your major arcana. Strength. Called power here. And then there's your ruler, the sun. Um, interesting, because I feel for some of you, not everyone, um, but I am feeling that I'm going to bring all these cards back in. That for some of you, it could be another Leo. Now, let's talk about this for a second. So we start with Love Begins, which is a one. <clears throat> it's mirroring the Strength card, which is an eight. Which is about a new beginning. Um, but the Strength card is really... You know, looking deep within. And discontentment and boredom. Again, this person has their back to the Ace of Cups. They're still going to receive a cup. It's going to be whether this person decides. You know, this could be someone who's like, you know, I don't know if I'm ready for love. But that doesn't mean it's going to stop it. Right? It, it, it still feels like it's going to come in whether I'm ready or not. Though, I do feel like, you know, you probably, at least subconsciously, had wished for this. Look at this King of Swords keeps coming out. We're not going to put him in a bad name yet. Yet. Okay. Actually, they're the same card, so I want to give him a better shuffle. Because I want you to have your own cards. Okay, well... We're going to take them. It came face up. The Ace of Swords over the Ace of Cups. Oh, look at this. The Nine of Cups. First of all, the Nine of Cups is inner fulfillment. Coming over discontentment and boredom. Something changes. Something's making you happy. Nine of Cups is also about fulfillment of wishes. So there's a wish coming true. And it's interesting because I feel like some of you, it's like subconsciously you've been manifesting this. But listen, we open the reading up with the wheel, your destiny, right next to your intuition. This is you happy. Doesn't have to mean everything in my life has gone great. This just means I myself have found inner harmony. And I find it interesting because we have this Ace of Cups added to the Nine of Cups. 
That brings us to the Ten of Cups. And I feel like that's talking about the potential. We have the Hangman over the Strength card. And then we have the Two of Wands. It's go time. You know, I feel like the Hangman coming over the Strength card, that makes complete sense. Because it's like when we find this inner harmony, this inner balance... Um, you know, I feel like the strength card is all about within, but it's so that you can find like that true sense of courage. And that's what you do find. And the hangman is just kind of like, so, you know, we had to kind of put things on hold. But in a way, it feels like it feels right. You know, because if I'm still like, reflecting you know within it may not be the perfect time but then the two of wands comes out so to me that turns that hangman upside down you know where there was a pause now there's movement blind faith two of wands willing to take a step forward See where this goes. Ace of Swords. This could be communication. Um, you know, the Ace of Swords means a few things to me. First of all, um, I always use the Ace of Swords as my yes card. And one of the reasons why is I feel like it's truth. You know, it's integrity. It's your truth. It's another person's truth. Um... And yes, it's probably communication. It may come out of the blue because, again, I feel like your world is kind of, or like your back is kind of turned away from this love. Or from, let's just say from love. But maybe you just felt like I could never really find this true fulfillment. I feel like it was important that you find this inner army within yourself first. Why? Because then you'll be much more open to exploring what this love is all about. Hello, lovers. Wow. Um, you know, I often feel, first of all, it's following the Two of Wands. So what is on this path of the Two of Wands, the lovers? Now, the meaning of the card is ahead of a hard decision. And that could certainly apply. Um, but I feel also the lovers is undeniable chemistry. And I love this image. I know I show it all the time, but I feel like it describes the energy so well. You see the feminine, like she's in present moment energy. And here's the masculine behind her. But he's not in person yet but she can feel his energy before he even arrives or vice versa well they can feel each other's energy let's put it that way and you're heading right to it don't worry be happy <laughs> don't worry be a bee. This is definitely overthinking. And because it's coming under the strength card and the hangman putting a pause in the action, I feel like this is something that had to be dealt with. It's a nine. You have two nines on the table, by the way. Um, and the only reason I'm saying that is because, again, I'm really doing this to see, you know, how this nine universal year is going to be for you. I feel like, don't worry. Like, be happy. <laughs> That's the meaning of the card, by the way, is unnecessary worry. So, I do feel like some of you were, like, you know, a little fearful to give your heart again. It's almost like you pulled yourself away from love. And you have every right to do that. But I don't feel like it stops this cup. This cup comes in 
Ready or not, here I come. Um, but here's the thing. I feel you are ready. I feel you are ready. And, you know, that's why the strength card was so important. Because you did need to go within, you know, I feel like in the strength card, we're just learning who we are, you know, on all levels. But that feels like it was an important component to what's next. Like, it feels like clearing of energy is what it feels like to me. So the Nine of Swords, you know. Could I stop this? Well, it's coming in no matter what. It could be like unexpected communication. Um, and it may throw you into a tizzy. But I feel like you can overcome that. And I feel like that's why we see also the Two of Wands. It's about just taking a step into it. You know, and enjoying the journey. Instead of worrying, like, what's the final outcome? You'll know that as you go along. You know what I mean? It's not like you don't have a right to know. Like, is this someone that has the potential of being my one and only? Well, one and only. My true love, let's say. Yes, it definitely has that potential. And yes, I definitely feel like it is a true love. And I feel like the chemistry would just, I don't know how you could deny it. But what I'm really hoping is that you've taken this time through your own house, the strength card, um, you know, turned around and like entered back into the world again. Let's not forget the wheel is spinning. So this Ace of Cups is meant to be. It is part of your destiny. There's nothing to fear here but fear itself. And I feel like if you're in a state where, you know, maybe emotionally things haven't gone that great, but I feel like there's other areas of your life that have gone good. And, you know, give yourself credit for that. You know, this feels like a true love. This feels like what was always meant to be anyway. It just feels like this is the destined time. So there may have been, you know, I feel like often in love, like the first couple of people we love, we're learning. We're learning how to love, right? We're learning what we don't want in love, what we do want in love. There's a lot to learn. Some of us are lucky enough to find that person right in, you know, right out, right out of the gate. And stay with them forever. But that's not many. So. With all this love on the board. We have to bring out the romance angels. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. New love. Take a step into it. Enjoy it. Be your playful self. And go for the ride. Because I feel like one hell of a ride this will be. I feel like romance, I feel like conversation will be deep, I feel like passion it will just be undeniable. I can try to deny it, but it will still be undeniable. I feel like this person is partly responsible for this inner harmony. Now, I don't want to take your part away. But I feel like they help finish that. It's almost like, again, taking this Ace of Cups, adding it to the Nine of Cups, which brings us ultimately to the Ten of Cups. So there is the potential.
you know, the only thing that has me a little worried is the Nine of Swords. Because, because it's coming under the hangman, could I potentially put a block to this or say no to this? Yes. But if you do, I want you to understand, it feels more fear-based than anything. So this would mean that I'm allowing fear to stop me from exploring the potential of what might be. New love. Love begins. Inner harmony. Fulfillment of wishes. Chemistry. You know, a head of a hard decision. Nine of swords with a head of a hard decision. That's the only part I worry about. But I feel like now that you see that, maybe that's all you needed. Wow, Leo, what a reading. And this is saying, like, you're going to be guided through the whole thing. It's just about you trusting in divine's energy. And I feel like, you know, many of you, um, and when it says new love, you know, could it be someone from your past? I will never leave that off the table. But if it is someone old, then it means they're coming as new. And what I mean by that is it means that they themselves have also evolved. They themselves are also ready for this energy. But because it says new love, it feels like this is new love for the majority. Um, but the chemistry, and because it's part of your destiny, and the first card is love begins, you know, this is definitely a soulmate um, energy. And I don't need to see the soulmates to know that. I feel it. I can tell. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let me see my time. All right, I'm going to do Virgo. And then, um, and then we're going to let that be. Um, and then uh, Libra through Pisces. You will be in part two. Part two. All right. I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to bring out the universal tarot. So we're moving into Virgo. Last time I did this, I completely skipped Capricorn, which just blew my mind. And um, really pissed me off, to be honest. But I did turn around and do a special reading for them. I'm hoping I don't forget any signs this month. Or this time around. All right. Let's get your major arcana, Virgo. Um, by the way, I am the Virgo's son. Sam, my boyfriend, is the Virgo sun, Virgo moon. We have the Hierophant. Hierophant is about your belief system. And because it's a five, it wants you to question it. You know, are you living life according to your terms? Um, are you keeping faith alive? Also, Carter Taurus, the magician, manifester. Look at the infinity above his head, as above, so below. No beginning, no end. It's like it's saying, you've been here before. 
You've done this before. This is the collective wisdom, like of all your lives. And being able to use them in this lifetime to manifest. Hmm. Eight of Swords. Two of Wands, that's good. So, the Eight of Swords right in the middle, self-created prison. <clears throat> um, though it's an eight, so it does stand for a new beginning. You know, self-created prison just means that you put up walls that you're trying to protect yourself. Uh, but at the same time, you have the energy to manifest. But manifesting through the Eight of Swords doesn't really result in much. You know what I mean? I feel like it just brings me more things to fear versus, you know, bright in my day type of energy. Though you do have the Two of Wands right next to it. So I feel like for some of you, this means that you have set yourself free. That you have put down those walls. That you know to manifest, you know what it is you really want in your life it takes you it takes a certain energy and a willingness so you know i can ask for the world but am i able to step into that energy will i be one with that energy We keep seeing the two of wands. Well, we don't keep seeing it. Um, but to me, it's like it signals what type of path you're walking down. And this would be passionate. You know, it's not a fear-based energy. This is someone who is willing to take a step onto this next journey. Uh, maybe it's just keeping faith alive. Instead of like the earthly fears, I'm going to let them go, put them down, instead put my energy back into my faith and allow myself this new beginning and also to set oneself free. Star. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, Virgo. Coming under the magician. Powerful. Powerful ability to manifest. But not just any old thing. Your dreams, your wishes, and your hopes. It's kind of why I feel like the Hierophant is here. Do you believe that? Do you believe in the unseen? Do you know that you have the ability to manifest? And you do. The devil. Under the eight of swords. It's like the devil made me do it. Five of cups. Well, I gotta take it now. The wheel. I don't know what made me turn it over and turn it back. Look at this. This is your energy. This is a Virgo card. But it's success. How interesting. <clears throat> so I feel like there is a period of time that you yourself were, were attracted to lower vibrational energy. Um, like, tempt like something kept tempting you. And maybe at you know, one point you didn't have the strength to say no to it. But I feel like deep down you knew that it wasn't doing you any good or they weren't serving you. Um, it wasn't helping your growth. Let's put it that way. Really, it did the opposite, right? It, create, it made you create this prison. It does feel somewhat like of an emotional nature you know some of you may just like i felt i think it was in the last reading 
Um, so you may have just like put love on hold and just been working on you, working on your craft. And I also feel doing very well at it, by the way. Congratulations. You know, the Nine of Pentacles talks about a couple different things. Um, the meaning of the card is successful self-employment. So I feel like if you have a business, then, man, do I feel like you're going to see the fruits of your labor. And I feel like for some of you, that's what you've been concentrating on. Yet, I do feel this underlying emotional energy um, that, in a way, I'm ignoring because I'm putting my focus on my pentacles. I love that you have the wheel um, coming with the star. So, what you're manifesting or what you have the ability to manifest in, let's say, this cycle is not only true success for you, but a path that I feel you're going to be very passionate about taking. I want to just follow that Five of Cups, Page of Swords. It's like that younger King of Swords. And again, talk, someone, talk about someone from the younger days. So I also feel like it's saying for some of you, like you, your voice is important in what you do um, or will be if you're just beginning something. And if you are just beginning something, then this is a great omen of success. But it does say you need to put your focus, as long as you put your focus on it. By the way, we can focus on more than one thing. This is really independent energy. You know, I can stand on my own two feet. I can take care of myself. And I do feel that we're different in a relationship when we ourselves feel this way. You know, when I don't need you for money, I don't need you to pay my rent, right? I just need your love if you're going to love me. I can take care of me. And probably your family, too, if you have family. And it just feels like something that's naturally destined anyway. So maybe you were meant to take some time out from love. Because, you know, I feel like there was no wasted time. I feel like you have been manifesting. But I feel like right now you've been manifesting success. Which is good. But there's something with this Five of Cups. I'm going to take one more with that. Hmm, Seven of Swords. Untrustworthy energy. Okay, well. You know, and a lot of times in my readings, um, you do see people from the past coming back. But I have to say, in the, in the readings today, it feels more about starting anew because I feel like this is this is giving us an idea of, you know, why I built these walls. Seven of Swords is really untrustworthy energy. I mean, they call it the thief in the night. This is someone who takes more than they need uh, because of their own lack mentality and not very good at love. They'll just take your love. definitely someone who lies i feel like i'd rather just tell you what you want to hear than tell you the truth because if i tell you the truth you're just going to yell at me so you know i feel like there's an immaturity with this person so this eight of swords i get it and you have every right to create it, right? You have every right to put barriers around you. But that means that you're not really trusting, let's say, within your faith. You're not trusting within your intuition. Because your intuition is your GPS. 
And when I don't pay attention to my intuition, then I do these human emotions, like, again, putting up barriers and walls. And it's not that you don't have a right, but something is telling me that, you know, like you're finding real success, but the one area maybe you're lacking is in your emotional house. And I get why maybe I put love on hold, especially if I was dealing with this type of energy. I don't want that. I don't want that back. But I don't feel like that's what's coming back. Take one more over that. King of Wands. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hmm. Taking another one with that. Page of Pentacles. Interesting. So we have two pages here. This could be your younger energy, their younger energy. But again, I felt immaturity within the way that someone loved. And I honestly don't feel like this person has anything to give you of value. Probably, if anything, headache. Um, I want to just look at the eight. Six of Pentacles, that seems to be a theme. You know, and I feel like there are a lot of Virgos who are natural healers. And I feel like one of the lessons we have to learn as healers is we do have to learn who we give our energy to because we just naturally want to give. We naturally want to help, but we can't help everyone. And it talks about the imbalances right? Because it literally made you create these walls. Give and take was not fair. Now, I'm not even saying that you're still with this person, but I feel you have to recognize the fact that your decision making is also based in a fear-based energy. Now, Part of me feels this is old because we have the two of ones. It's like you are freeing yourself. Three of cups. Okay, good. So that's a reason to celebrate. You know, the meaning of the card is rejoice in celebration. To me, it's the energy of joy. And it's what's starting on the two of wands, this next path. I just want to look at the wheel. Hmm. Three swords. Look at that. 33 again. Three of pentacles. Interesting. I'm saying interesting because I feel like when you see the wheel, everything was meant to happen. Even the hard things. But they were meant to happen because they're definitely here to help you, to teach you. Um, and part of it, I feel like, is valuing yourself. You know, we have the Three of Swords against the Three of Pentacles. Again, that master number. But three, three, three. So the Three of Pentacles really, um, you, in a way, I feel like that's what you did. You know, your heart, you, you felt some heartache. You got your heart broken. Um, I don't feel like you were seen on an individual level. And, you know, it's almost like this lesson was about what I know I don't want in love. Now I know that. One more. Five of swords. Dang. I mean... There is nothing good to write home about with this energy. Now, I'm only talking about who I feel is a past lover. Past love. You know, you add that five of swords to the three of swords. Well, there's our eight of swords. So, toxic energy. That ultimately ended up with you in heartache. This is about beginning anew. And, you know, I feel like what you guys are saying 
is just be aware of what energy you're manifesting from. Because let's not forget, we have the star here. We have the wheel here connected to the magician. Powerful energy. And I don't think you want to manifest this type of energy back. So the best thing I can do from that is learn from that. You know, again, I feel like there doesn't seem to have been soul recognition, so it doesn't feel like a soulmate to me. I feel like I want to go over here, the magician. Could be two people. Just be two people who are now open, let's say, to love again. It's almost like this king carries the magician's energy, and so do you. It's like you're in tuned. You're spiritually aligned. So again, universal year nine. Same as the life path nine, you know, it is that, I mean, and the hermit, that's really what I feel this whole year is going to be about. The hermit's energy, the seeking of the light. <clears throat> and, you know, being really true to oneself. It's like looking at the dark nights of the soul that I've gone through, but really in a sense of like how I've overcome who I am today. And being proud of who you are. You know, simply not everyone can love us. And I do feel this sense of, like, this person of the past. You know, it's like not, it's not even just you. I feel like they just don't know how to love. And you're not here to teach them. You're not their mother. One more. Three of Wands. Interesting, because I saw the beginning of your reading um, before I had the card shuffled. This is about living in the present moment. You know, this is someone, this is really a change of energy. So I feel like many of you have set yourself free from that Eight of Swords. Like, you get it. Like, you know. And, by the way, I, I also feel like there was nothing wrong with taking time out from love because I feel like what you've been doing has been really producing your like fruits of your labor. And if you haven't seen the fruits of your labor, but you're focusing on them, get ready. Get ready. Um, what am I holding? By the way, another three. Holy threes. So this is someone, you know, who does have faith, who says to divine, I know that my ships will come in. I know that. I believe that. But I'm going to live in the present moment. I'm going to enjoy the present moment. And as I do that, slowly but surely, and I don't know why you're even saying slowly, let's just say surely, Ships will come in. And I kind of get a feeling that this is talking about love. Um, because I feel like your creative house, as long as you believe in what you're doing and you and you feel like it piques your interest, then I feel like it's just going to take you the whole way. And I do feel like a lot of you are natural healers. So just be ready this year because, again, people are going to seek you out. And that may be like really when you're seeing the fruits of your labor. And I feel like even without advertising, maybe it's word of mouth. I don't know. But I feel like the healers of the world in 2025, they are going to be like people are going to seek them out. But, all right, now I want to go back to love for a second.
getting to know you. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Well, that is present moment energy. One more. That is present. It's exactly what the what the energy is calling for. Oh, on the table. Make an effort. Make the effort. Great love. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided, guided to take. Hello, soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. This was not your soulmate. I can guarantee it. Unless it's a karmic soulmate. But I don't even feel that. And usually I can feel that. This is your soulmate. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Interesting. Now, you know, it's like, dang it, now you're making it sound like what I just said isn't true. But here's the thing. I know it's not this person. Because I feel like this is energy you have definitely overcome. Unless there's been quite a miracle in their life. I feel like it's this king. I definitely feel like it's this king. This could be someone who's a little older than you. Um, this is someone who puts action behind their words. So I'm not going to just tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to show you. This is someone who does carry a lot of passion in their heart. I know it makes sense with this also being a soulmate. So, you know, there's no need to rush because we have so many threes. It's about enjoying the moment. You know, the joy that it's going to bring to your heart. And you may not believe any of this. But your faith is calling you to. Okay, I'm going to leave that be. And I think I'm going to stop the readings from now. And I will pick up with the second uh, video, Libra through Pisces. And I promise I won't miss any of you. Matter of fact, that's one of the reasons why I brought out the major arcana so I know what sign I'm on. Um, I'm going to let that be. I love you guys. I will connect the, uh, it's like an eight minute video. Um, and it's just a couple pictures I did in the very beginning. And the rest is just me talking. But I did put some beautiful music behind it. Um, but I feel like it'll give you some good information as it relates to the universe of year nine, and I have more. Like, there's more that wants to come out of me. It's just like, like, oh, it just wants to come out of me. Um, But I really wanted to do this reading first. So, I love you guys. I thank you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.